This video will demonstrate the principles of using M-Drummer to effectively and efficiently create a drum track to a song. It is important to watch our MIDI command method tutorial prior to this video, so you understand the principles of some of the methods used here. I'll start by briefly acquainting you with the track I'll be using. Get back, you feel me? Yeah, I get back, y'all, out my face! I wanna spread your brains all over the place! I'm gonna kick through that door and make a scene Hit your dog with a roll-up magazine Get back! You know I pity the fool I wanna have to send you right back down to grammar school Yeah, you know I'm hotter than hell And I'm gonna vex you Gonna put you under my spell if you can To start, I'll head to the VST plugins and select M-Drummer 1 out Hip hop is a good preset for this track. I'll also choose an adequate rhythm. I'm also going to insert an instance of M multiband limiter into M drummer's channel in the mixer to make the drum track hotter from the offset. The piano roll in FL Studio doesn't go down to C minus two, so M drummer treats the lowest note C zero as if it were C minus two, and the same with all other notes accordingly. I'll draw a note on C0, followed by 7 bars of groove on C1, and a break on C2. I can now use the 8 bar sequence as a template for the rest of the track. I'll highlight, copy and paste a sequence along until I have 7 in total. Then I'll draw a note on C4 to instruct M Drummer to play an outro. I'll raise the second sequence by three semitones to distinguish it as verse 1. Now I'll do the same to the rest accordingly. An increase of eight semitones for the first chorus. An increase of six semitones for the solo. An increase of 9 semitones for the second chorus. An increase of 4 semitones for the second verse. An increase of 10 semitones for the final chorus, bridge and outro. I want to add some variation, so in the three chorus sections I'm going to add a stop, half a bar in and a break on bar 6. A stop in FL Studio is on C5 and any octave above.
I'll add two stops in this final chorus since it will work well with the vocal. Heading back to M Drummer's interface, I'll click on the additional button and deselect random loops so I have full control over which loops M Drummer will play. Now, using the velocity control, I can choose which loops I want to use for this song. Now all that's left to do is draw the sequence into the playlist so the song can be heard as a whole, and play it through so you can hear the results. Twenty thirteen. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Yeah. Worldwide.
Thanks for watching. Next in the M Drummer tutorial series, I will show you how the Song tab can be used as an alternative method.